Yo, what's up guys? I'm making a quick video today talking about some recent news that I saw about Thomas Sadoransky. You know, he did an interview, I guess, a few days ago. I couldn't find the interview, but I'm sure if I did, it was in like Czech Republic or whatever. So we really couldn't understand it unless you speak their language. But I know before this whole interview came out, I'm pretty sure I said in one of my past videos, Thomas Sadoransky wants the NBA to just cancel the season because he's pretty much stuck in the USA currently because his whole family pretty much lives in the Czech Republic. And of course he can't go there with all this coronavirus stuff going around. So he's pretty much just stuck in the US without his family and it sucks for him and I don't blame him, man. If I was him, I'd wanna go home too and just want the season to get canceled so he can see his family and his kids. But yeah, like I was saying, he did an interview, I'd say, I think it was yesterday or earlier today, and there were some interesting quotes and just, you know, learning more about our point guard, so I'm just going to read those. If you don't want to watch this video, I don't blame you, it's kind of a different one, but you know, there's a lack of NBA content, and I thought it's kind of cool, so I'm going to throw it out there, but like I said, if you don't like this kind of video, at least just stay for this first part, because this first part is really interesting. And Thomas Sadransky was talking about Coach Boylan. Of course, you know, that was going to be brought up. You know, Coach Boylan is, he's been just a big problem all season long. And Thomas Sadransky said on Coach Boylan, he tries, he cares so much, but it doesn't always help because he wants to control everything. He wants to be perfect, but it's great that he has a positive thinking. In his opinion, the team will bring back Jimbo for next year. And honestly, that's just, that's terrible to see. I mean... You know, he's taking a little bit of shots at him because he wants to control everything. And then at the same time, he said that he believes the team will bring Jimbo back. You know, I really hope we don't bring Jimbo back. He hasn't done anything really to improve this Bulls team. I mean, he's regressed the Lloyd Marketing and we haven't had even close to a winning season at all with him as our coach. And just him and Zach, it looks like they don't like each other. I mean, Sadoransky is taking some shots at him right now. So it just, it seems like the players don't really like him that much. But hey, who knows? Thomas Sadoransky also said that like he plays card games with the Bulls teammates. I'm sure they play card games on like flights to other, you know, NBA games and stuff. And he says sometimes the pot is 20 grand in cash. I thought that was pretty cool and interesting to see as well. And Sadoransky also said he usually curses at the refs in Czech. So that's pretty funny because they have no idea what he's saying. And Sado is also not a big fan of James Harden. You know, he doesn't like his game. But then he also said that Harden is the hardest player to guard. And he also loves Charles Barkley, which is pretty cool. And, you know, right before the NBA season got suspended, you know, Sado got benched for our rookie point guard Kobe White. And I don't blame the move. You know, I like Sado, but Kobe White has clearly outplayed him. And Sado... I'd say he's, he would still be our starting point guard if he was just more consistent. You know, he's really talented. He plays really good when he wants to play. Like against Washington, he balls out every game. I feel like he just needs to try a little harder. And he possibly could have kept that starting position. And Sato says he doesn't want to be traded from the Bulls. He likes Chicago a lot. And Sato also said he has a great relationship with Kobe White. And he really likes Zach Levine on and off the court. So that's good to see that. He's getting along with our players and he likes playing for Chicago because even though, you know, 10 million is kind of a lot for a backup point guard, I'm happy with Sato as a backup point guard. He's a solid player. He's a tall point guard. If he's just more consistent, he'll be a great backup point guard. And he was also making some jokes about LeBron. He said LeBron is one of the best NBA GMs of the past few years. And Sato also was talking about the worst NBA cities and he said they are Memphis, Cleveland, and he also said Milwaukee is underrated. And like I said earlier in the video, Sato's pretty much trapped in the USA right now. And he said NBA's international players are putting pressure on the NBA and the NBPA to allow them to return to their home countries. But yeah, like I was saying, I was, I'm just making a quick video today. There's not much topics to talk about. And I thought this was a pretty cool one to get, you know, just learn a little bit more about Sato. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and want more like this, or if you guys have any video ideas, please make sure you comment them below, because like I said, the NBA season's canceled. There's not a lot of topics to talk about or make videos about. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this quick video today. Have a good one.